Okay. Good morning to ladies and gentlemen and uh, Mr. Chamburi. Today we are going to present company analysis on BMW. First, I will introduce my group member. This is uh, Chang Man Singh, I'm Mian Su Su, He Tan, Long Hai Fong, Chiu Shi, and Zhang Mengqi. So we are going to present, we are going to start our presentation with introducing, uh, intro, uh, introduce why we choose China as an eco innovation country. Okay, I'll pass to He Tan. Okay, good day everyone. Uh, first of all, let me introduce the BMW. It's a genuine automobile and motorcycle motor. BMW is a short of a urban motor and wake. It's owned and produced mini car and space and fun company of those those motor cars. Okay, uh, next we let me introduce the vision and the mission of BMW. Three brands of one objects to become even better thanks to our own company. Focus on the product. BMW Group is automobile and motorcycle empire more people around the world today than ever before. Lead a company into the future and to remain the world's leading supply of permanent uh, and the service and create a future for employee and uh, society. In its almost 100 year history, the BMW Group has overcome many challenges. Uh, okay, let's, let me introduce why uh, eco innovation and why choose China. Okay. Nowadays, the automotive industry must be face the environment energies. Uh, have four methods. First, uh, vehicle energy, uh, non renewable material. Three, energy con consumption. Four, uh, generation of waste during the produce. Uh, why choose China? Okay. First, Chinese have uh, different ideas and behave of uh, environment. Second, market of the eco produce depend on the uh, extent of the Chinese preference. Okay, let's let me watch a um, automated driving lead, lead to new difference for future motorbike. For customer, we are more comfortable, more time and more safety and more flexible. For technology, we are high tolerance. Uh, system safety. For community, less accident, less traffic, and less uh, pollution. Now please look at the forest of top 10. The China is the highest in top 1. Um, this two figures show us China grows 11.3% uh, in the highest amount of all. Okay, let's pass my partner, no hyphen. Okay, let me introduce BMW Pastel Analysis. There are five of their eight points economic, social, technology, ecologic, media, political, legal, and ethical. And the two different ways I will explain structure uncertainty and the predictable elements. Structure uncertainty of the economic includes disposable income, excess finance, and finance options, fluctuation in exchange rates, strategic analysis, market volatility. Predictable elements of the economic include excess capacity. Consumer demand. Structure uncertainty of social includes geographical distribution, demand for eco friendliness, corporate business usage, changes in consumer pre predilection. Predictable elements of economic include 
stretch and appear. Structural uncertainty of technology includes advances in green technology, industry capabilities, strategic analysis, product innovation, and digital connectivity. Predictable elements of technology include self-driver technology, and the structure uncertainty of ecology includes dominant green technology. Predictable elements of ecology include fuel resource and reducing. Structure uncertainty of media includes com competition, branding, and marketing. Predictable elements media includes access to information. Structural uncertainty of political includes foreign taxes and fees, regulations, geopolitical context, and the predictable elements of political includes all your prices. Structural uncertainty of legal includes government regulations, and the sustainability regulations. Predictable elements of legal include recycling and CO2 legislation. Structure uncertainty of ACR includes market acceptance of global green needs. Uh, predictable elements of ethical include industrial co corporations. Okay, now the next one. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, the BMW Group is the most successful and uh, sustainable premier provider of individual mobility. So there have uh, three three part I will talk about. Uh, the first part, the first part is product and services. Uh, the second part here is production and value crea crea creation. The third part is employer and society. Um, so in the first part, there have three points. Uh, the first point is CO two emission. Reduced by at least fifty percent in the Europe Novel Fleet. Uh, it by uh, it based year nineteen ninety five. The second part is uh, electric electric mobility. Leader in the leader in taking a, a leader in taking holistic approach to premier electric mobility. The last point is mobility patterns. Uh, Permanent change as a result of uh, integrated mobility services in select motorization areas. Uh, okay, uh, here is uh, the second part. The second part also has three points. The first point is uh, conservation of resource, water, energy, waste, silent, poor. Which reduced by 45 percent. It based year uh, 2006. Uh, the second part, renewable energy. Leader in use renewable energy for uh, production and value creation. The last point is uh, uh, sustainable resource absent supply chain. Increase, uh, increase transport and the resource absence in the supply chain. Uh, here is the last, last, last part I will talk about. The last part have four points. The point one is healthy and performance. First, individual responsibility and design the working environment. Uh, the second point is long-term employer development. Find employer 
tap into young talent, uh, develop passion, pay patient and uh, secure in employer ability. Okay, uh, the third point is uh, diversity. Increase diversity within the company and enhance innovation strategy. Uh, the last point I will talk about uh, uh, intercultural understanding. Uh, BMW leader in the intercultural understanding. So uh, the three part uh, my group member will talk about later. Okay, thank you. Uh, right now, I will talk about the SWOT analysis of uh, BMW. So uh, let's start with the strength. Okay. Uh, so the strength of BMW is actually a renowned company with a high position in terms of branding and revenue factors. So uh, at the same time, it is also able to sustain its market position uh, lucratively with its hub of exclusive cars. As we know that uh, BMW is using much more on those exclusive and uh, we can say much more comfortable car compared to ordinary. And the third point is that BMW had exceeding qualified labor force uh, that could qualify as a source for gaining competitive advantage. So uh, BMW also uses advanced technology for its product to embark its product design quality and price. Uh, that's the reason of the price of the BMW is are very compatible. And BMWs also have a strong relationship with the supplier which propagated and maintain a brandy supply chain management. So the weakness is of BMW is uh, overall image was too serious and uh, conventional in comparison with its competitor, such as uh, Mercedes. And the low cost production of its competitor uh, causes uh, BMW have a slightly lower uh, sales compared with other manufacturers and also uh, over dependence on US and Euro market that is one of the weaknesses for the opportunity of BMW uh, the increase in number of products sold in spite of the economic downturn use of advantage technology for the product <coughs> popularity in developing countries like India and China and now eventually uh, BMW are moving forward to mainland China as the last based on last year uh, financial projection eventually China is showing a high significant of increase of sales compared to other country and also have a low interest rate uh, last is about the track of BMW uh, because of the strong competition in the luxury segment of car uh, and also due to the economic downturn uh, and also lastly about the fuel cost increases recently as we can see so next I will talk about the core competency of BMW so what are the core competency of BMW is actually started with the client success so what is the reason for the success uh, first is the economic performance uh, the connectivity between the clients and BMW, uh, the design and style, understand what the cl client needs and what the necessity of the current society, the quality of the product, and also most importantly is the comfort and performance. So uh, what are the resources? Why they have this? It's because they want to enhance their brand value. At the same time, they want to extensive employee training for their employees and they actually emphasize more on their R&D department to improve uh, new technologies such as uh, self-driverless uh, auto, can, we can say such as autopilot driver which means it's a driverless car and also uh, they always try to hide at a high expectation on their quality of their car high quality and also the technology innovation so uh, how they use it so they target the emotion of the market and also they know the strategy from their HR and they continue to innovate so currently BMW is actually moving forward to uh, driverless to park parking assisting but they are trying to move forward to become a driverless car in future uh, so uh, and also they try to be the first to market their product 
in terms of technologies. And uh, what are the risks of BMW? The risk of BMW is actually uh, related to the economic downturns and also the changing of the regulation by the government in different countries. And also there's a political, political issue in the Middle East country and also Asia. And the rising of fuel price, product interruption and also especially their competitors. So uh, these are the risks of BMW encountering right now in current situation. So I will pass to my team members to proceed on the Portal 5 process of BMW. Okay, next we move on to the Portal 5 process. First, I'm going to explain the new market entrant, which is, uh, we can define that it is low actually. And BMW is always an industry favor and it has a high capital requirement. Besides that, it's also other than high capital required, it also required uh, require in depth knowledge on BMW. Besides that, they also. Besides that, they also have to be aware of the legalization and the regulation just mentioned by my uh, friends. And they have to be more. They have to enhance more on their distribution network. Is that? They also need to. They also need to be more understanding on their own brand identity and the history. So next is the supplier power, which is at the average level. As mentioned just now, the BMW is an industry favor, and BMW have a high switching cost, but. Their design is a high appeal for other suppliers. BMW also use exclusive material for premium manufacturers and only few suppliers can meet the quality standard. As for the buying power, it's very high. And we know that BMW has many models in the market right now. And furthermore, they are going to increase more and more series of the BMW. For now, BMW have uh, BMW have a better quality available now at a lower cost for poor economy workers. And the, the info for BMW is really accessible anywhere. For the buying power, we have a moderate switching cost. And next, we move on to the trade of substitution, which is in the average, uh, middle level. The trade currently available in the uh, society is the urban car, share, uh, urban car sharing, the train, public transport, and etc. But there have a lot of improvement of the a lot of improvement for BMW, alternative improvement for BMW. And the next trade for BMW is the increasing tax and fuel costs for certain countries. And the last is the second hand, uh, second hand car that being resell, which will affect the sales volume of BMW. And fin finally, we move on to the competitive rivalry, which is very high. Why? Because there are a lot of competitors outside. For example, Mercedes-Benz, Oh, Audi, Lexus, they are all uh, doing an electric car and it is a very fiercely competitive in this autom uh, autom automobile industry so with the differentiation strategy applied on it they have a uh, pressure on the profit margin because differentiation strategy will request a lot of investment in it and this will lead to a high marketing cost so we can conclude that it is an imperfect market exporting, exporting a differentiation strategy. Keep and leverage different differentiation uh, advantages through quality and technology and technology at once. Also considering the low risk of near entrance and medium risk of substitution, it is a good industry for existing manufacturer. However, supplier holds some power in holds some power, so relationship must be strong. 
to minimize future risk. A dynamic and highly competitive market, premium manufacturers must maintain their customer focus, keep an eye on their competition, and to the future. So we can conclude that BMW is focused in differentiation focus of the competitive uh, advantages. Okay, next we move on to the BMW ethos. The purpose of BMW is to become the world leading provider of premium product and service for individual mobility. And the strategy they use is for pillar BMW grow, shipping the future, access to technology and customer profit uh, customer and profitability. And the value of BMW is high quality standard, customer focus, continuous improvement and sustainability, employee engagement. And the behavioral standard of BMW is knowledge, thermal, expertise, dynamic, innovation, and safeguarding the future with sustainable business practice. Okay, so I'll pass to my friend to discuss about the BMW value proposition. Okay, now we are moving to uh, value proposition. Uh, uh, value proposition has three parts. The first thing is the super uh, experience. Uh, the BMW is focused on the brand image and the driving experience is uh, more important for uh, BMW. They provide the quite a high quality of customer service and uh, in terms of the uh, performance and the reliability. And secondly is uh, uh, equal experience. Uh, this part uh, the BMW will improve their uh, Safety performance higher and higher, and uh, the stability is uh, better and better. Uh, in addition, uh, they provide the uh, uh, the way of the financing is more and more easier. So, in the finally, the lack of their experience uh, in this part, uh, we uh, we know the BMW's cost uh, cost of product and the maintenance of cost uh, is very high than another product, the uh, same product. So, let's move on the another place. Uh, this part is about uh, the life cycle of BMW company. Uh, you can see this line. They have five uh, five parts. The first is the development period and the growth period. Uh, secondly is uh, checkout and uh, and the maturity and uh, declining. This uh, this five period uh, this five period you can see the nine the first uh, four period is uh, increase and then uh, decrease. In the first uh, in the development uh, period, you can see the because the market share is uh, uh, very huge and their position is very high, so the competition is not uh, very very strong. Um, in the second, uh, the growth growth period, you can see uh, the speed of the growth is very high and uh, the trade barrier barriers is very low, but uh, in addition, uh, their bias is very less. Third part is uh, shut out. In this part, uh, uh, the competition is uh, increased because uh, uh, because the competition uh, because the market shares uh, will uh, decrease. So their competition will increase uh, this part. Uh, but uh, the, uh, but uh, oh, in addition, some of the company uh, even out of the market because of the competition. And that's, uh, the first one is uh, motivated period. In this part. Uh, um, the uh, growth rate uh, is uh, decreased and uh, the trade barrier is very high. But uh, in addition, the uh, 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 buyer power uh, is very strong. Uh, I mean, they, uh, the, the buyer will, you know, will uh, want to buy this car. And the last one is uh, decline. And this part is very, is, uh, market, market share is very full. So the competition is very, very strong. Uh, so this is uh, the full part of uh, this. Uh, this is left cycle of BMW. Uh, in January, I think the condition, condition of uh, maturity uh, market is very strong. Uh, they give the pressure to the manufacturing sectors. Um, so now we are uh, looking to find a new market uh, because uh, when you go to in the new market, the condition will re reduce and uh, you will find the new opportunity for business. Okay, now I would uh, pass to my friends. Okay, so we are going to end this with the uh, conclude with the BMW future competitive uh, competitiveness. Okay, what's that? 
There are four competitors that uh, BMW is trying to achieve in the future. First, they are going to reduce, reduce what? Reduce the CO2 reduction, uh, reduction the waste, me, uh, and create a new, more job opportunity, uh, create uh, eco innovation technology, and to rise the practice of uh, implementing eco innovation and to eliminate the use of fossil gas. Uh, for your film. Okay, thanks. That's all.